Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. And I'm getting emails all the time from students all over the world who are saying, hey, can you just teach just a super easy beginner song that I could be playing really fast and having fun with? Absolutely, no problem. We appreciate the requests. Ask and you shall receive, right? So I have a super easy beginner song lesson for you today. The song is What's Up by Four Non Blondes. A huge hit for that band in, uh, I believe it was 1993. And everybody knows this song. In fact, I used to play this song in one of my old bands. And every time we used to play it, people would just get up and start singing it. They know the words. It's just instantly recognizable. And it's a super easy song, right? So if you're just a beginner who's even just picked up the guitar, I'm going to show you a way you could do this. Very simply, you'll be playing this song. I'm going to give you the strum pattern, an easy one to get going. There's, uh, it's only three chords, and it's the same progression throughout the whole song, the verses, the intro, the chorus, all the same. I'll give you the stripped down version for just one guitar, so you could play it uh, just by yourself, practicing or jamming with your friends. And then there's uh, this cool guitar lick that runs in the intro and in the middle of the song too. I'll, sh I'll show you that too in case you want to play with that. And the song does have one bar chord, but don't let that intimidate you, and here's why. One bar chord, if you could play it, great. If not, I'll show you how you could do it using a power chord. If you're not up to that point yet either, I will show you how you can play this song without any bar chords. I'll show you that way too. So if you're a beginner who doesn't really get into bar chords, not into bar chords yet, stick with this lesson and I'll show you a way to do that. All right, so let's start off by learning the chords first. All right, the first chord in the song is an A major chord. And you can see all the chords right here. Um, and then it goes to a B minor bar chord. And then to a D. And then back to an A. And that's it. That's the progression. A, B minor, D, A, the whole song. You get that one progression down, that's the verses, chorus, is everything. Right? So at first, just give them one hit each. If you're just, if this is new, and just try to get those chords all the notes to ring out right okay so um, now that you know the chords I'll take you through the progression um, I'm gonna give you a strum pattern I'll break it down but let me play it for you first and I'm gonna play this at a little bit of a slower tempo on the on this original recording it's a little faster but remember don't try to play songs as fast as they are on the CDs or the records at first. Because remember, the faster you're strummer, the strumming, the faster you're playing, the faster you're going to have to make those chord changes. So slow it down at first so you can get the changes down cold and then bring up the speed. It's so much easier that way. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Let me play this. I'll play the progression through and, uh, and then I'll break down the strum pattern. So here's what it'll sound like. That's the whole song, right? Sounds familiar. It's very catchy, okay? All right, so what am I doing in the strumming pattern? Well, we're staying on each chord for a little bit of musical time, so the pattern's a little long, but when you have long strum patterns, what you want to do is you want to break them up into smaller patterns and build on them, and that's a great technique you can use as you add more strums, strum patterns, to your strumming arsenal, right? Your arsenal of destruction. Um, just keep building it, right? So the strum pattern is actually, and I'll do this at first, I'm just going to take my hand and, and, and grab the strings just so you can hear the pattern. It's going to be this. Okay, so let's break that up into smaller parts. So at first, do a down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Okay? And then we're going to add straight eighth notes, down, up, down, up. It's like a one and two end, right? So all together you have down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Sound like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, you got that. Let's add another down, up to it. All right, so so far you got down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. All 
right? Last piece, up, down, up. That last little bit, up, down, up. So all together, real slow. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That up, up, down, up is very important. You're going to find that in lots of patterns where you're going to do an up followed by another up stroke. If you're not familiar with that, it's going to take a little time. But remember, your guitar playing is an evolution, and you will get this over time. It gets easier with time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the pattern repeatedly. And I want you to play along with me, and this will really help your rhythm and your timing. What will happen is you'll probably lose it after a couple times through, but then just get right back on that horse <laughs> if you fall off. And the next time maybe you'll do it one or two times longer, and then you'll fall off. And then one or two times longer. And that's how you kind of build, right? So um, let's play it. Play along with me. I'll play it for a little bit. This will be good practice for you. So uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. You keep looping that, keep playing along, and you will get it. And then all you have to do is just put those chord changes to it. And you have the whole song. Here it is all through. We'll go through it a couple times. Play along. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's awesome, right? And that's pretty much the whole progression. Now, if you're having trouble with that B minor chord, okay, if you're having trouble with bar chords in general or changing from your opens to your bar chords, because for beginners, that's probably the, the toughest change or changes that you're gonna encounter is going from those opens to those bars. I can help you with that. I have a half an hour lesson on bar chord changing, bar chords, fret hand techniques, proper fret hand techniques. It all starts with that fret hand technique. And if you're not doing things properly with the fret hand, it's going to be next to impossible to make those changes in time. So you want to check your technique, right? It's a killer lesson, has all kinds of exercises. I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box. You'll get the free video lesson on bar chords and bar chord techniques and bar chord changing and open the bar chord changes. Also, I'll send you my free ebook that has all the chords diagrammed out, more lessons and exercises. It's a great beginner ebook. I just redid it. It's awesome. I'll send you that. Free video lesson, free ebook. Just click on that link. I'll send it to you for free. It'll really help you. So check it out. It's free. Why not, right? From Epic Guitar Instruction. Another thing you can do, if you're still struggling with that B minor chord, just play the B fifth power chord. Right? This way you don't have to stretch that first finger across all the strings on that second fret. So you're basically just playing first finger, second fret, A string, and then you could just use your third finger and your fourth finger, third finger on the fourth fret, D string, and then your pinky finger on the fourth fret, G string. It's not going to sound as good, but it will certainly work. Here's how that chord sounds. And again, you kind of keep your strumming limited to just those three strings. Let your first tip of your first finger kind of spill over to mute out the, a, the low E string. That's a great tip when you're playing your fifth string root bar chords or power chords. Let the first finger spill over to mute out that string. This way you can hit it, but you're not going to hear it over the other strings ringing out, right? So if I play the progression, I'll just go from the A to that B power chord. Uh, actually, I'll go through the whole progression with the power chord. You'll hear what it sounds like. A, same strum pattern. It's a power chord. Right, you get the 
picture. But Sounds that's... a little bit different, but it still works, right? So if you don't have the bar chord yet, but you're close, play the power chord so you can play the song. And certainly get that video lesson. Click on that link below because that'll really help you too. Okay, so that's a basic strum pattern that you could use. And then obviously as you get better, you could kind of speed it up because the song is faster. I promised you at the beginning a way that you could play this without any bar chords, right? So I wanna show you that. So if you're not in the realm of bar and power chords yet and you're still very beginner on in your journey, in your guitar journey, no worries, because I'm gonna show you a way. You were gonna use a capo, all right? So what you could do with this is you can um, put the capo on at the second fret, right? Just clip that on there. And now we're gonna change the chord shapes, but it's gonna to ring to the same pitch. So what I want you to try is play a G shape, right? And I say shape because when you play a G with it capoed at the second fret, it's technically not ringing to a G chord. That's actually an A chord, right? Listen, I'll take the capo out and play an A chord, right? Remember that sound, second fret capoed, right? G. That's ringing to the pitch of an A because we have the capo on. This also is nice because it'll allow you, if you want to play and sing in a higher key, you can move this capo around and find the vocal range of your voice um, and play the chords. Um, so play the G shape and then go to an A minor shape, which is actually ringing out to the pitch of B minor, but it's the shape of an A minor. No bar chord needed, right? Aha, it's magic. And then just go to a C shape, your stock C chord, which is ringing out to the pitch of D. And back to G. Right? Isn't that incredible? No bar chords needed now. So I'll play the whole progression with that same strum pattern with, with these voicings, these chord shapes. Simple and fun using the capo. And uh, the, the timbre of the chord's a little different, obviously, but it's the same pitch. And the bonus, you don't need to play bar chords. So get yourself a capo, second fret it, and try that. So the last thing we'll do is let me show you that little lick that they play in the beginning of the song, and it appears a couple times throughout the song. And it's kind of cool. It's pretty simple. It's nice and slow, so you might want to mess around with it. Um, I'll play it for you first, and then I'll bring you in on a tight shot, and I'll show it to you up close and personal, right? The lick will sound like this. So you can kind of go from that lick right into the song if you want. It repeats a couple times and there's a little variation of it, but that's the bass lick. So let me show you what that looks like up close. The first thing you're gonna do is on the G string, you can use your third finger and slide up to the ninth fret. And you play it kind of four times. Then with your first finger, go to the seventh fret of the D string. Then two more times on the D string. And then you're gonna take that and slide down from the seventh to the fourth fret of the D string. So here's what we have so far, slow. Okay, now. Okay, that lick, first finger, second fret, do a little hammer on. Just come down with your uh, third finger without picking again. I mean, you could pick it, but it sounds to me like they're doing a hammer on. Second to fourth fret on the D string. Then first finger, second fret on that A note on the G string. Back to the fourth fret D string, second fret D string, fourth fret. So you go back, kind of toggle back and forth. So you have this so far. Then you go with this. So back to the second fret on the G string, fourth fret D string, and then twice on that second fret G string. That whole little part is this. And then, OK, 
Okay, so that, remember I said twice, so you're doing that one more hit on that G string, second fret, then third fret B string, then back to second fret on the G string, first fret and second fret on the B string, and then second fret on that G string. That's an A note, so you get this little lick. And then you just do this uh, D string, second fret, open, and then second fret on the D string. So you get this all together slow. And then right after there, you go and you do it again, just slide to that seventh fret of the D string and then pick it right up from there again. Same exact thing. And then after this last lick, right into the song. so that's the whole song that's it just play that progression over and over and over again right if you want to put in that little lick at first then go right into the song maybe or if you have a looper pedal play the progression loop it then play the lick then you can go right into the song a lot of different ways you could do it the bottom line is this song is easy it's fun and um, you'll have a great time playing it with your friends or jamming or just playing it by yourself and having some fun putting your own spin on it the main thing is enjoy it right and oh don't forget Click on that link below and grab that bar chord lesson because it'll really help you along in your guitar journey. It's long. It's like a half hour. It's packed with exercises. Just click on that link. I'll send you that in my ebook for free. And also, one other thing you could really do that really helps us is click on that subscribe button. That really helps us, enables us to keep bringing the content here at Epic Guitar Instruction. Um, we'll let you know we have new lessons. I'm posting new lessons all the time. Keep checking back. Please spread the word about this channel that would be so awesome and leave a comment below uh, let us know what you want to hear next let us know how you like this lesson let us know how we can make the lessons even better for you because we're here for you and we're here to help so we appreciate you watching thank you for your support over the years you guys and gals rock i'm david taub with epic guitar instruction take care keep on rocking